Two new AI-supported features have been added in Avident 4.1 release. The automatic merge of a surface scan to the DICOM and the automatic tracing of the inferior alveolar nerve canal. In this tutorial, we'll review these two features. Let's start with the automatic surface scan to DICOM merge. First, in the side panel, select surface scans. Then click on import surface scan. Browse to the folder where the surface scan is stored select it and click open. Few merging options are available. To use the AI functionality, click on one of the two auto buttons, in this case it is the auto upper. The selected surface scan is now being imported and automatically merged to the DICOM. We can see the merging process advancement in the upper left corner of the screen. Once the merging is complete, the result is shown in the grid view. We can now inspect the result by dragging the grid over the panoramic image and closely inspect the merge accuracy in the cross-sectional views. As in the other viewports in Navident, each cross-sectional view has a pop-up toolbar that allows for the adjustment of the radiographic image brightness and contrast, the slab thickness, zoom in or out, and pan the image inside the viewport. The panoramic view's height can be adjusted as needed. Similar to the full manual mode, matching point pairs can be manually added to the DICOM and to the surface scan to improve the accuracy of the AI-based merge. When a satisfying result has been achieved, click Save. The merge result can now be inspected in a 3D view, and matching pair points can still be added or deleted to improve the merging accuracy. When a satisfying result has been achieved, click Save and exit the form. The merged surface scan is now visible in the editing views in Navident's main screen. Upon importation of a mandibular CBCT, the inferior alveolar nerve canal is automatically detected and segmented. During this process, the nerve button in the side panel is grayed out and inactive. Once the process is completed, the button becomes highlighted. Click it to review the result. First, Use the windowing tool in the pop-up toolbar in the panoramic view to adjust the radiographic image brightness and contrast for optimal visibility of the anatomy. You may also zoom in and out. Drag the image up or down as needed. Scroll inside and outside through it and adjust its thickness to have more details or a sharper image. Drag the grid along the panoramic image to review the nerve marking in the cross-sectional views. Where adjustments to the marking are needed, the purple circle marking the nerve can be dragged on each one of the cross-sectional views so it would fully coincide with the canal. Editing points can be added to the canal's marking by left-clicking on the white line, then dragged for better adjustment. The diameter of the marking can also be adjusted if needed. For safety reasons, it is important to make sure that the whole circumference of the canal is covered by the marking. Switching between marked canals is done by left-clicking on the canal, which then becomes editable. A marked nerve canal can be deleted in whole by selecting it and clicking on Delete Canal. It can then be manually redrawn if needed. If both nerve canals are deleted, they will be automatically marked by the AI process in the next time that the CBCT is loaded in Navident and the user will be asked to confirm the marking for safety purposes.